الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده أما بعد then we are in lesson 20 or reading 20 from the book al Kiraat al Rashida guided reading in the Arabic language and this lesson is called Qaryati. Qaryati, the original root here is Qaf Ra Ya or Alif Maksura, meaning to receive hospitality or entertain. And the meaning of Qarya is village or city Qar ya Qaryatun a village or a city and because people who live in the outskirts of town they usually want to go or people who uh, people who live in the desert or in the uh, woods then when they want some entertainment they go to the town or the village and so, Qaryatun, the plural is Qura. Qura. Right? As in, Umul Qura. Umul Qura. Which is the mother of all villages or the mother of all cities, the nickname for Mecca. So Qaryati means my village, my village, my town. He begins, he says, Qaryati Jamilatun. Right? Qaryati Jamilatun. My village is beautiful. And Jamil has the ta marbuta because Qarya is feminine, so the adjective describing it must be feminine. Right? Actually, this here is the Mubtada, Qarya is the Mubtada, Jamila is the Khabar, but the Khabar must be still in agreement with the Mubtada. So Qaryati Jamilatun, my village is beautiful. Fi wasati hukulan wa basatina. Fi in wasat. From wow seen ta, meaning in the middle. Hukul. Hukul is the plural of haqal. Or haqlun. Right? Fi wasat al meaning fields, in the middle of fields. Wa basatin, which you would look it up under ba sin ta nun. It's a word with four letter root. Bustan, the singular, means garden. Right? Like hadiqa or other than that. Jannah, right? But Bustan, the plural Basatin. Qaryati Jamilatun. Fi wasati hukulan wa basatin. My village is beautiful in the middle of fields and gardens. Ka'annaha jaziratun fi bahrin akhdara. Ka'annaha, ka'an is it's like ha referring to the qarya it, it is like it here ha is it right or as if it jaziratun ka'anna as if ha it referring to qarya jaziratun from jim zayra meaning an island كَأَنَّهَا جَزِيرَةٌ فِي بَحْرٍ أَخْضَرٍ In an ocean. 
Bahar is an ocean. Akhdara from Khaf from Kha not Khaf Kha Dad Ra from Kha Dad Ra meaning green. Bahrin Akhdar and that is the masculine for green. We have Akhdar right as in here and later on we will see Khadra or Khudra right Khudra Akhdar is for the masculine Khudra or Khadra is for the feminine describing when we're describing a masculine noun we say Akhdar describing a feminine noun we say Khadra so Bahar here is masculine in the middle of a green ocean لا ترى فيها إلا خضرة وماء لا ترى from رأى يرى لا ترى you don't see فيها in it إلا except خضرة خضرة again from that same root here meaning greenness greenness you don't see anything but the color green or greenness وماءً and this is the object of the verb both of them because what do you see ترى فيها خضرة وماءً you see in them greenness and water مفعول به منصوب فالأرض خضراء so here we had بحر أخضر Akhdar describing the Bahar being masculine. Well, Ard is a feminine word, even though it doesn't look it, it does not have the ta marbuta, but it is a feminine word which we have to learn. And the adjective for it, Khadra. Fal Ardu Khadra. So the earth is green. Wal Hukulu Khadra. And the fields are green. And fields, plural, we're going to talk about it feminine singular, so therefore its adjective is feminine. Khadra. Its fields are green. What dunya kulluha khadra'u fi karyati. And the dunya, the world, kulluha, all of it, khadra fi karyati. All of it is green in my village. And Dunya is another feminine word which we have to learn. So its adjective is feminine. We didn't say a dunya akhdar, we said a dunya khadra. Wa yajri min taht al qaryati nahrun. Wa yajri from jara yajri. Jara yajri. To run, to flow. Min tahti al qaryati. Min tahti. From beneath, from under. Tahta is under or beneath. And it is majroor after harf jar min. Min tahti al qaryati. And tahta is a dharf. The word following it is called mudafile majroor. Min taht al qaryati. From underneath the village. Nahrun. A river. A river. Not a nahar, the river, but nahrun due to the tanween. And nahrun here is the fa'il. What runs underneath the village? Nahrun. A village. I mean, a river runs underneath the village. A river, Nahrun. Wayajri Nahrun min taht al qarya. You could say it like that. Wayajri Nahrun min taht al qarya. Or, as they wrote it here, Wayajri min taht al qarya ti Nahrun. Ma'uhu naqiyun. Shafafun. Ma'uhu. It's water. And ma, which originally has this 
regular Hamza. When we put a Dhamma on it and attach a pronoun, then we put a seat for that Hamza and put it on a wow. Why a wow? Because of the Dhamma. Ma'uhu naqiyun. Naqiyun from noon of ya, meaning pure. Pure. Naqiyun shafafun. Shafaf from sheen faf, meaning could mean two things. It only means one here, but we could see why it could mean two things. It could mean thin or it can mean translucent, transparent, meaning clear. You're able to see through it. It's pure shafafun. How are thin and translucent or transparent, clear, how are they related? Because if you have a thick piece of paper, like cardboard, which is paper, you can't see through it. But if you have a thin piece, like onion skin paper, then you can see through it. Right? So, shafaf is thin or transparent, translucent, clear. Ma'uhu naqiyun shafafun. Its water is pure and clear. Transparent. Li anna hu yajri ala ramli. Li anna because because it in who here is referring to nahrun. Right, and it's masculine. That's why we said ma uhu. Nahr is masculine. It's water. Naqiyun. We didn't say ma uha naqiyatun shafafatun. No. We said ma'uhu naqiyun shafafun, masculine. Li annahu because it yajri ala ramli. Yajli ala ramli, and of course this is from ra, meme, lam, meaning sand. It runs across sand, which means it purifies it. The sand is going to filter out the impurities. So therefore, ma'uhu naqiyun shafafun. Its water is pure and clear, transparent. The Ennahu Yajri Ala Ramli, because it runs or flows over the sand or across the sand. Tag or Nag Tasilu, Nag Tasilu, Fi Hadan Nahri, Nag Tasilu, from Gain Sin Lam, like the word Ghusl, Yagsilu, to wash, Nag Tasilu. Right? Nagtasilu means we take a bath. We take baths. Fi hadha nahr. In this water or in this river. Fi hadha. Hadha is majroor. But because it's mebni, we do not see its sign. It's fi mahal jar. Bada harf jar. It's in the condition of being jar after the preposition. But we don't see it signed because hadha is mebni, meaning it never changes. A nahr is a badal for hadha. So it is majroor, just like it, although nahr, we're able to see its sign of being jar because it is mu'rab, because it changes. Naghtasilu fi hadha nahri. We take baths in this, or we bathe in this river. Wa nasbahu. Nasbahu from seen ba ha meaning to swim. And we swim. Wanalabu and we play. Wanashrabu and we drink. Min ma'ihi and naqi from its pure water. Min ma'ihi we saw ma originally was with a regular hamza. When we when it was marfu with an attached pronoun, then we added a wow to carry that hamza. So we said ma uhu. Right? Now here we, we have it majroor, so it's going to carry a kasra. So instead of adding a wow to carry that, kas, that hamza, we're going to add a ya without the dots. We're going to say ma, and this is a ya without the dots, ma ihi. Ma'ihi an naqi an naqi is an adjective for ma'ihi. And ma'ihi, even though it does not have the alif lam, it is definite, but is definite by the attachment of the pronoun. So, its water, 
it's water. It's not indefinite. It's definite. We know whose water it is. It's its water, right? The nahar's water. So the adjective must agree with the noun, meaning it's definite due to the due to the attached pronoun. So we must make a we must make naqi definite. And it's masculine, ma is masculine, so we say naqi, not naqiyatun. So they're both masculine. And they're both singular, and they're both majroor, as we have a kasra on the ya, just like we have a kasra on the hamza here. Ma'ihi and naqi. So he says, naqtasilu fi the nahri. We bathe in this river, wa nasbahu, and we swim, wa nal'abu, and we pray, play. وَنَشْرَبُوا And we drink مِنْ مَائِهِ النَّقِي From its pure water. وَنَرَى السَّمَكَ وَنَرَى السَّمَكَ And we see وَنَرَى السَّمَكَ Fish. We see fish. This Aleph Lamb is called Aleph Lamb of Jints. Right? Not, it doesn't mean the here. Rather, it's the gents of the genre, of the type. So we see fish, meaning in general, we see fish. Yajri min huna wa huna. We see fish swimming, running, min huna wa huna. Not swimming, but running, flowing. We see the swim, the fish, yajri min huna wa huna. Meaning running, flowing from here and here. وَنَرَى أَصَدَفَ فِي قَعْرِ النَّهْرِ وَنَرَى And we see أَصَدَفَ أَصَدَفَ are seashells صَاد دَال فَا And it's mensub because it's the مَفْعُولٌ بِهِ It's the object of the verb so it's accusative Seashells We see seashells فِي قَعْرِ النَّهْرِ In the قَعْر is the 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 depth or the bottom? Qari is majroor after fi fi qari and nahri, which is mudaf mudaf ilay. Right? We see in the bottom of the river a sadaf. We see seashells. The an al ma'a because the water. And the water is mensub after anna or after li anna, however you want to look at it. Because al ma, because the water, naqiyun shafaf, is pure, transparent, translucent, clear. Wa qad ta'allamna. Qad here is an emphasis. We may translate it, we may not, depending on how you like. Ta'allamna from Ain Lam Mim, but here it is form six. Ta'allamna meaning to learn. Ta'allama ya ta'allamu. Ta'allamna we learned. As-sibaha. As-sibaha from this same root as we have here. Nasbahu. We learned swimming. What did we learn? We learned swimming, therefore it's maf'ulun bihi mansub. It's the object of what we learned. Ta'allamna sibahata wa nahnu sigar. And we were young. Sigar is the plural of sagir. Right? Wa nahnu sigar. And we were young. Fa'idha kanat ayamul matari. فَإِذَا So if كَانَتْ أَيَّامُ الْمَطَرِ It was days of rain. مَطَر Rain, ayam, the plural of يَوم فَإِذَا كَانَتْ أَيَّامُ الْمَطَر And كَانَتْ here is feminine because ayam is plural. And we talk about the plural, non-غير الْعَقِل Non-intellectual thing as being feminine singular. فَإِذَا كَانَتْ أَيَّامُ الْمَطَرِ So if it was the days of rain, مُضَافِ مُضَافِ لَيْهِ 
Fada nahru. Fada from fa ya dad. Meaning to overflow. Fada nahru. And nahru here is the fa'il. The river overflowed or flooded, you could say. But overflowed would be more proper here. Wakana ardun kabirun. And it was wakana. It was ardun. Ardun from Ain Ra Dad meaning wide. Wide. Kabirun meaning very wide. Big and wide. Meaning very wide. Abarna from Ain Ba Ra meaning to cross. Right? To cross. Abara you abiru meaning to cross something. Abara yaburu. Yaburu naam. To cross. Abarna we crossed. Hada nahra. What did we cross? Hada. It's mensu, but since it's mebni, this fata is from its word itself. It's not changed by what position it is in the sentence. Rather, nahar is changed because it is a badal for hadha. Fa'abarna hadha nahra. We crossed this river. Wa tasabakna from seen back off, meaning to race. Wa tasabakna and we raced. Tasabak tasabaka form five. Tasabaka meaning to race, like the word musabaka. A contest. وَتَسَابَقْنَا فِي السِّبَاحَةِ And we raced in swimming. وَأَرَى كَثِيرًا And I see. أَرَى I see. كَثِيرًا Many. What do I see? I see many. مَفْعُولٌ بِهِ منصوب. مِنْ أَهْلِ الْبَلَدِ From the people of the City, Al Balad here will translate as town or city, right? Whereas Qarya is smaller than that. Qarya is smaller, the village, the countryside, the little town. Whereas Balad is going to be like the more major city. Wa ara kathir and min ahl al baladi, and I see many of the people of the city, right? لا يعرفون السباحة. They don't know. يعرفو from عرف يعرفو. They don't know. يعرفون a plural. They don't know. لا here being لا and نافية negation. السباحة. What don't they know? السباحة. مفعول به. وهم كبار. And they're older. The plural of كبير. Like صغار is the plural of صغير وهم كبار and they're older ويخافون الماء and they fear right from خا واو فا يخافون الماء what do they fear الماء مفعول به منسوب جدا should not be a فتح on top of the شدة and then فتحتين on the ألف it should just be جدا it should be جدا and just جدا typo happens a lot in books, that type of that that particular mistake. وَيَخَافُونَ الْمَاءَ جِدًّا and they fear the water جِدًّا a lot. وَلَا يَدْخُلُونَ النَّهْرَ يَدْخُلُونَ they they enter لا يَدْخُلُونَ لا النافية they don't enter النهر what don't they enter النهر مفعول به منسوب جاء مرة صديقي or صديق لي جاء he came مرة one time مرة one time صديق لي صديق is the فاعل a friend a friend came one time a friend لي a friend of mine came one time من البلد from the city ودخلنا النهر and we entered the nahr we entered the river we entered what the river مفعول به منسوب وقلنا له and we said 
to him. Ta'al. Ta'al meaning come on. Meaning come on. Ya akhi. Come on my brother. Waqtasir. From the command verb. Waqtasir. Take a shower. Wasbih. Wasbah. Asif. Wasbah. Take a shower and swim. Take a bath and swim. Right? Ta'al ya akhi. Ta'ala ya akhi. Come on, oh my brother. Waqtasil. Wasbah. Take a shower and swim. Both of them command verbs. Faqala. So he said, Inni akhaful ma'a. Verily I akhafu. I fear. I'm scared. I'm afraid. Al ma'a. Afraid of what? Scared of what? Fear what? Al ma'a. Maf'ulun bihi mansub. I fear the water. Wala a'rifu. From arafa ya'rifu. And I don't know. Again, la anafia. And I don't know. As sibaha. What doesn't he know? As sibaha. Maf'ulun bihi mansub. Object of the verb. Accusative. Fashadja'nahu. Fashadja'nahu. From Sheen Jim Ain. Form three. No, form two, Asif. Form two. Fashadja Nahu. So we encouraged him. Shadja to encourage. To encourage. Fashadja Nahu. Fa is so. Shadja Nahu. We encouraged him. Waqulna. And we said. La takhaf. Originally it was takhaf. Like he said here. Akhaf with the alif. But because of the la and this being a prohibition, this is the la of anahia, the la of prohibition. This is the la of anafia, the la of negation. Right? La takhaf, it makes the the La of uh, Nahia, it makes it Mejzum. So we say La Takhaf. But because this Aleph, even though we don't write the Sukun on it, it really has one. We don't, it doesn't have any vowel, vowel movement, doesn't have any Haraka on it. So therefore, we have to get rid of one of them because we can't have Iltiqa Asakinain. We can't have two sukuns meeting. So we have to get rid of the weak one. We say, La takhaf. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Wa nahnu ma'ak. And we are with you. Fa tashadja'a. Tashadja'a from the same root. Sheen, jim, ayn. So he became encouraged. So he, he got the courage up. وَدَّخَلَ الْمَاءَ And he entered the water. الْمَاءَ مَفْعُولٌ بِهِ منصوب. What did he enter? He entered the water. وَأَرَادَ And he wanted and يَسْبَحَ He wanted to swim. يَسْبَحَ is منصوب after N. وَلَكِنْ But ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْقَعْرِ He went to the bottom. ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْقَعْرِ He went to the bottom. فَأَخَذْنَا بِيَدِهِ فَأَخَذْنَا So we took فَأَخَذَ From أَخَذَ يَأْخُذُ فَأَخَذْنَا So we took بِيَدِهِ With his hand. We took his hand basically. We took his hand. وَرَفَعْنَاهُ And we raised him. From رَفَعْنَاهُ رَفَعْنَاهُ And we raised him. فَخَرَجَ So he got out. He exited. وَقَدْ شَرِبَ الْمَاءَ And he had drank water. But here, he had swallowed some water. إِنَّمَا ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْقَعْرِ النَّهْرِ When he went to the bottom of the river, شَرِبَ الْمَاءَ he, he drank some water. Meaning he swallowed some water. What did he swallow? What did he drink? مَاءَ مَفْلُمْ بِهِ مَنْسُوب وَكَانَ يَغْتَسِلُ مَعَنَا and he used to bathe ma'ana with us kullayom every day. He used to bathe with us every day. Kulla yomin. Wa yata'allamu as sabaha. 
As-Sibaha. And he would learn, and he was learning As-Sibaha. He was learning As-Sibaha. He was learning to swim. Ta'allama yata'allamu. As we said on the previous page, we had Ta'allamna As-Sibaha. We learned swimming. Here is the present tense of that same verb, yata'allamu. And he was learning, or he learned, or he's learning As-Sibaha. He learned, or he was learning swimming, hatta ta'allamaha, until he learned it. So here we are again. Ta'allama yata'allamu. Past tense, future, past, present. Ta'allamaha. Ta'allamaha ha is referring back to as-sibaha. Wa'abara, and he crossed. وَعَبَرَ النَّهْرَ And he crossed the river. مَفُولٌ بِهِ مَنْسُوبٌ فَتَشَجَّعَ So he was encouraged. He got courage. وَعَبَرَ مَرَّتَيْنِ And he crossed it two times. He crossed it what? Two times. مَرَّتَان Originally, but it became مَرَّتَيْنِ منسوب with a ya due to him crossing it twice, right? He crossed it twice. وَإِذَا نَزَلَتْ أَمْطَارٌ كَثِيرَةٌ وَإِذَا نَزَلَتْ أَمْطَار The plural of matar. So we're going to talk about it in the feminine. Whereas earlier when we talked about the matar, we talked about the matar as being Singular. Here, because it's amtar, ghayr aqil, plural, we talk about it feminine singular. We either nazalat amtarun, kathiratun. And if a lot of rain came down, wafada nahru, and the river overflowed, asbahat qaryati shibha jaziratin. Asbahat the root being sawed ba ha but here form four asbaha is from the sisters of kana meaning that the noun the mubtada in that sentence becomes ismu kana and stays marfu which here it would be karya right and the khabaru kana becomes mansub as we see shibha is mansub because it is the khabaru asbaha it's the predicate or the information about asbaha and it's mansub accusative so he says wafada nahru and the river overflowed asbahat qaryati my village became asbaha meaning to become Asbahat qaryati shibha jaziratan. Shibha meaning like. Shibha meaning like. Or here it's also called, in English it escapes my mind, like Florida in America. It, a jazira is an island, meaning it's surrounded by water on all four sides. Florida is surrounded on three sides by water, but this side is surrounded by land, a peninsula. Shibha Jaziratan is a peninsula. Or you could say like an island because it's not completely an island because one of its sides is not surrounded. Shibha Jaziratan is a peninsula. Yuhitu biha alma. Alma, here is the file. Yuhitu, Yuhitu meaning to surround. Yuhitu biha meaning al ma'u. The water is surrounding it. Right? Min thalathi jihat. From three thalathi jihat. Jihat is the plural of jiha. If I could write it right. Jiha. Right? which is from the root waj, like to face. So it has three faces from three directions. Jiha is direction or faces, things that you're looking at, right? Min thalathi jihatan, from three sides. 
from three faces. وَتَبْقَى جِحَّةٌ وَاحِدَةٌ وَتَبْقَى from بَقِيَ meaning to remain. وَتَبْقَى جِحَّةٌ وَاحِدَةٌ and one side, one face remained. Right? Shibha, as we said, an island surrounded by water on all four sides. A peninsula, like Florida, surrounded on three, called Shibha Jazeera, meaning a peninsula. Same thing in your kitchen. You can have an island with a stove or a sink or something, and then that's an island if your other cabinets are around it. But if you have an island like this, and it sticks out over the wall, the wall ends here, and this is where you can put seats here. This is called a peninsula, right? So Shibh Jazeera is a peninsula. وَتَبْقَ جِحَةٌ وَاحِدَةٌ And one side remains. نَذْهَبُ مِنْهَا We go from it. إِلَى الْبَلَدِ To the city. وَنَشْتَرِ And we buy. Right? الْحَوَائِجَ What do we buy? الْحَوَائِجَ Mansub mafulun bihi. We buy our needs, right? We buy our needs min asuk from the marketplace. And most of these words, brothers and sisters, are not new to us. Most of them. Ashtara yashtari hawaij suk nadhab balad. Most of these words are not new to us. Wa fi in 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 a year, meaning one year. Fi senatan, meaning one year. Kana faydanun azimun. Faydan is from the same root as father. Yafidu, meaning a flood. Faydan is a flood. Kana faydanun azimun. There was a great flood. Wa fi senatan, in one year. Kana faydanun azimun. There was a great flood. What was faydan? It's the file here. Father al ma'u. The water overflowed. Al ma, the file, overflowed. Wa dakhal al buyuta, and it entered. Al buyuta, what did it enter? The bait, the houses. Mafulun bihi mansub. Wa khaf al nasu, and the people feared. Al nas, here is the file. They feared, even though nas is plural. We started this sentence here with a verb. And so when we start our sentence with a verb, we start with the singular form of the verb, even if our noun is plural. Wakaf and Nasu and the people feared Al Gharaqa. Al Gharaqa from Gain Ra Qaf meaning drowning. Wakaf and Nasu Al Gharaqa. What did they fear? They feared drowning. Wataraqna Karyatana. And we left from Taraka, like Taraka Salat, the one who abandons or leaves Salat. With tarak, Tarakna, we left or we abandoned Karyatana. We abandoned what? Karyatana. Mansu, Mafurum Bihi. We abandoned, we abandoned or left our village. With the Hebna, and we went. Il al Baladi, to the city. Walam Narjik. And we didn't return. Lam Narjik. Even though we're using a present tense verb, lam makes it in the past, and it also makes it majzum. Lam narji' we didn't return illa except ba'da shahrin, after a month. Shahra, month, from ashur, being the plural. Shuhur, which many people in the Arab world say shuhur, shuhur is really a different word, right? It's from shuhra, meaning to show off and so on. Fame. Shuhur, from being famous and stuff like this. Ashhur is the pr proper plural of shahr. Wa fi sanatin kana faydanun azimun. In one year, and in a year, in one year, there was a great flood. Fad al ma'u, the water overflowed. Wa dakhla al buyuta, and entered the houses. Wa khaf al nasu al gharaqa. And the people feared drowning. وَتَرَقْنَا قَرْيَتَنَا And we left our village. وَذَهَبْنَا إِلَى الْبَلَدِ And we went to the city. وَلَمْ نَرْجِعْ إِلَّا بَعْدَ شَهْرِ And we didn't return except after a month. وَيَزُورُ قَرْيَتِي يَزُورُ From Zara يَزُورُ Zara يَزُورُ To visit. وَيَزُورُ And they visit 
Karyati ma village kathiron. Again, yazoru is the singular, not yazuruna, but yazuru. Why? Even though kathir is plural, many minan nas kathiron minan nas visit 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 because we started with the verb it's singular, right? Kathiron is the fa'il, marfu minan nasi. Jar wa majroor. This this fatah there is for reading purposes because of the iltiqa sakinane, the meeting of the two sukuns. Wa yazuru qaryati kathirun min al nas. And many people visit my my village. Wal ulama'i. Right? Kathirun min al ulama'i. This is majroor because of min, min al ulama'i, and many of the scholars. Li annaha because it, qaryati, qarya being feminine, qaryatun, mashhuratun. As we said, sheen ha ra, when we said shahur, has to do with fame, mashhuratun, being famous. Li annaha qaryatun, mashhuratun, because it is a famous village. Wulida fiha. Born in it, born in it, wulida, from walada yalidu, wulida is passive, majhul, wulida fiha, in it, kathirun, it's the fa'il, many people were born, many min al ulama, kathirun min al ulama, many from the scholars, was salihin, salihin is majrur with a ya. Majroor with a ya. It was salihun. A salihun. But because of the min, it became salihin. Majroor with a ya. And again, we see because we're starting our sentence with a verb, wulida, the verb, passive, majroor, even though our fa'il, kathirun, is plural. Because we started it, we used the singular form of the ber verb. We didn't say wuli do. We said wuli da. Wuli da fiha kathirun min al ulama wa salihin. Many of the scholars and the righteous people were born in it. Fiha wuli da fiha. Wa ala and on shati. Ala shati. Shati, you would look it up just like that. Shim alaf ta ya hamza. That's what it is. Meaning the shore or the coast. An nahri. However you want to say it. The shore of the river. The coast of the river. Masjidun. There is a masjid. Wa ala shati nahri masjidun. There is a masjid on the coast of the river. Qadimun. Masjidun qadimun. Right? An old masjid. Banahu jadduna al-kabir. Banahu, he built it. From bana, yabni. But because we added that ha, that damir, that pronoun, the alif maksur became an alif mamduda. Banahu, he built it. Jadduna al-Kabir. He's the file. Jed. Grandfather. Our grandfather al-Kabir. Meaning our great-grandfather. Mada. Mada. Our great-grandfather built it. Mada. Like the word madi. Meaning to go past. Mada alayhi. Gone past on it. Thalathu miyati sana. Three hundred. Thalathu miyati. Thalathu miya. And this is the file here. 300 senatin. 300 years. Mabda alayhi. 300 years went by it. Passed on it. Meaning it's been built that long. Wa yadkhulu fihi al ma'u. Fi kulli faydanin. Wa yadkhulu al ma'u. Water is our file here. Is dhamma marfu. And water enters in it. Fi kulli faydan in every flood. Wa yam kuthu fihi al ma'u. Wa yam kuthu from mim ka tha. 
Yamkuthu meaning to stay or to last. Wa yamkuthu fihi and al ma'u. The water is the file. The water lasts in it. Ayaman tawilan. How does it last? Ayaman tawilatan. Long days. Many days. Walakin nahu lam yaduf. Walakin, but it. Walakin nahu lam yaduf. Being medzum after lam. Yaduf from da'ufa yaduafu. Yaduafu meaning to become weak. But it did not become weak. We'll read it again from the top without the explanation. Just read it and translate bin Allah Ta'ala for uh, just going through it one more time for assurance purposes, inshallah, that we covered everything and that you understand, inshallah, as a whole, not word by word. Qaryati. Let me erase all this stuff, right? Qaryati, my village. Qaryati jamilatun. My village is beautiful. Fiwasati hukulin wa dasatin, in the middle of fields and gardens. Ka'annaha jaziratun fi bahrin akhdar. Just like it is a, as if it is a island in a green ocean. La tara fiha illa khudratan wa ma'an. You don't see anything in it except. Or you don't see in it in ex, you don't see in it except greenness and water. Fal ardu khadra'u. So the earth is green. Wal hukulu khadra'u. And the fields are green. Wa dunya kulluha khadra'u fi qaryati. And the dunya all of it is green in my village. And running underneath my village is a river. Its water is pure and clear, transparent. Because it flows over the sand. We bathe in this river. وَنَسْبَحُ And we swim. وَنَلْعَبُ And we play. وَنَشْرَبُ مِنْ مَعِهِ النقي. And we drink from its pure water. وَنَرَى سَمَكَ يَجْرِ مِنْ هُنَا وَهُنَا And we see fish running from here and there. From here and here. وَنَرَى أَصَدَفَ فِي قَعْرِ النَّهْرِ And we see seashells in the bottom of the river. Because the water is pure and transparent. And verily we learned swimming. And we were young. And if it was the days of rain, then the river overflows. وَكَانَ عَرْضٌ كَبِيرٌ and it, and it was big, it was big, very wide. أَبَّرْنَ هَذَا نَهْرَ We crossed this river. وَتَسَابَقْنَ فِي السِّبَاحَ And we competed in swimming. وَأَرَى كَثِيرٌ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْبَلَدِ And I see many from the people of the city. لَا يَعْرِفُونَ السِّبَاحَةَ They don't know swimming. وَهُمْ كِبَارٌ And they're older. وَيَخَافُونَ الْمَاءَ جِدًّا And they fear the water a lot. وَلَا يَدْخُلُونَ النَّهْرَ And they don't enter the river. جَاءَ مَرَّةً صَدِيقٌ لِي مِنَ الْبَلَدِ A friend of mine came one time from the city. وَدَّخَلْنَا النَّهْرَ And we entered the river. وَقُلْنَا لَهُ And we said to him, Ta'ala ya akhi. Come on, oh my brother. Waqtasl wasbah. And bathe and swim. Faqala. So he said, Inni akhaful ma'a. Verily, I fear the water. La wa la a'rifu as sibaha. And I don't know swimming. Fashadja'nahu wa kulna. So we encouraged him and we said, La takhaf wa nahnu ma'ak. 
Don't fear, and we're with you. Fatashadja'a. So he gained courage. Wadakal al Ma'a. And he entered the water. Wa arada an yasbaha. And he wanted to swim. Walakin dahaba il qari. But he went to the bottom. Fa'akhadna biyadihi. So we took by his hand. Warafa'nahu and we raised him for Kharaja Wakad Sharibal Ma'a. So he exited and he had drank or swallowed the water. Wakana Yagtasilu Ma'ana Kulla Yomin. And he used to bathe with us every day. Wayata Alamu was Sibaha and he was learning swimming Hatta or Yata Alamu is was still after Kana. Wa kana yata'allamu. And he was learning as-sibaha. He was learning swimming hatta ta'allamaha until he learned it. Wa abara nahra. And he crossed the river. Fatashadja'a. So he gained courage. Wa abara marratain. And he crossed two times. Fa'idha wa idha nazalat amtarun kathiratun. And if a lot of rain Come, came down, wafada nahru, and the river overflowed, asbahat qaryati shibha jaziratan. Then my village became a peninsula. Yuhitu biha al ma'u, the water would surround it, min thalathi jihatin, from three sides. Watabqa jihatun wahidatun, and one side would remain. Nadhabu minha, we would. Go from it, il al-baladi, to the city, wa nashtari al-hawa'ija min as and buy or purchase our need, the needs from the market. Wa fi sanatan kana faydanun azimun. And in a year, in one year, there was a tremendous flood. Fad al-ma'u, the water overflowed. وَدَخَلَ الْبُيُوتَ And entered into the houses. وَخَافَ النَّاسُ الْغَرَقَ And the people feared drowning. وَتَرَقْنَا قَرْيَتَنَا And we abandoned our village. وَذَهَبْنَا إِلَى الْبَلَدِ And we went to the city. وَلَمْ نَرْجِعْ إِلَّا بَعْدَ شَهْرٍ And we didn't return except after a month. وَيَزُورُ قَرْيَتِي كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ and many people visit my my village. Well, ulama, many people and many scholars visit my village. The annaha qaryatun mashhuratun because it is a famous village. Wulida fiha kathirun min al ulama wa salihin. Many of the scholars and righteous people were born in it. Wala shati al nahr and on the coast of the river, masjidun qadimun is a old masjid. Banahu Jadduna al Kabir. Our great grandfather built it. Mada alayhi thalathu mi'ati sanatin. 300 years have passed on it. Wa yadkhulu fihi al ma'u fi kulli faydan. And water enters into it in every flood. Wa yamkuthu fihi al ma'u ayyamin tawilatan. And the water remains in it or lasts in it. For long days. Walakinahu lam yaduf. But it doesn't or it didn't become weak. Inshallah ta'ala, you understand. Again, if there's always any questions and you can comment below and ask them or contact me and my contact is all over the previous videos. Hope you benefited. Inshallah ta'ala. Next week, Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika, Shadu wa la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.